Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learning from Home with Teacher Rosa. For today, we're going to have this topic, listening habits. Let's start. We have this ob these objectives. First, distinguish the three basic listening models and differentiate the types of listening habits. Okay, question, how do you listen? And are you a good listener? Hmm. Okay, so we have this, the three basic listening models. First, we have competitive or combative listening. Second, we have passive, attentive listening. And a third, active, reflective listening. So let's talk first the competitive or combative listening. This is the type of listening that is done when people want to push his or their own point of view or opinion rather than listen to someone else's. With this type of listening, we mostly are waiting to jump in and say something or point out flaws in what the other person is saying. We pretend that we are listening when really we are formulating our own ideas and just waiting for the person to break so we can blurt them out. The downside is that we we fail to actually take in what the other person is saying and have closed our minds, which is a barrier to good listening. Next, the passive attentive listening. In this type of listening, we are genuinely interested in what the person is saying. At this point, we are not yet at the point of re responding and being involved, but we understand the points that the speaker is trying to make. We may agree with what is being said, but we are doing so in a passive manner rather than in a reflective one. Next. The active reflective listening. This is the type of listening model that you want to use. In this model, you actively listen and understand what the other person is saying. Here, we listen to what the other person has to say before we try to interject what we would like to share. In this model, you restate or share back information with the speaker showing that you are paying attention and actively involved. Right. So, which model will you prefer to use? Hmm. Okay. So, here are the two types of listening habits. The poor listening habits and the good listening habits. Okay. So, we have here the comparison of both listening habits, the poor and the good listening habits. Let's begin. People find the conversation boring and allow that to affect their concentration or lead them to tune the speaker out. Okay. But if you are if you have this good listening habit, these are the people who are really listening. Okay, so for these people who are really listening, will not allow a subject matter to keep them from paying attention to the key points. They also will make sure they continue paying attention and avoid distractions. Okay, now a listener does not pay attention. Daydreams are become distracted rather than listening to the person speaking. That's poor listening habits. For good listening habits, a good listener would not fake paying attention or engage in daydreaming. She or he knows the importance of making eye contact and showing interest. Right. Okay, those listeners who overreact to something they disagree with generally tune the speaker out or just focus on what they want to say in rebuttal. That's poor listening habits. So a good listener that disagrees with a speaker or something the speaker has said will remain calm and wait for an appropriate time 
to inquire about the point of disagreement. So for the good, if you are good, if you have this good listening habit, you have this calm, um, calmness, and wait for your turn. Okay. Poor listening habits would include finding fault with the speaker. Criticizing the speaker may mean that you find fault with the way he or she looks, dresses, or speaks. Sometimes even physical appearance. Okay. For good listening habits, they include not evaluating speakers on the way they look or trying to find fault with them. So it doesn't matter how the speaker look like. Okay. Poor listeners will try to zone in on just the facts that the speaker may make rather than listening to everything and hearing the support for the facts. Good listeners will look more at the bigger picture and listen to everything rather than just nitpicking particular points. So it's going to listen to overall, the overall scenario of everything, okay? Now, inappropriate listening includes listening with a closed mind, bias and or prejudice regarding the person or topic. A good listener approaches speakers with an open mind and attitude, showing respect to the speaker, okay? A poor listener may engage in dawdling, checking text messages, making phone calls, snapping gum, or any number of other tasks when listening should be that focus. Good listeners will minimize or remove disruptions when they know they should be listening. By doing so, they have demonstrated to the speaker that they are attentive and engaged in active listening. Okay, poor listeners pay no regard to body language when it comes time to listen. They may keep their back to the speaker, avoid eye contact, close their arms as they listen, or even make faces in response to what they are hearing. Good listeners realize that a good portion of communication is done through nonverbal means, and that body language often says much more than words do. Good listeners will make sure that their body language is open, relaxed, and inviting. Okay, a poor listener would interrupt the speaker to make his or her own point attacked or yeah, I talked what is being said by the speaker or etc. Next, for the good listener, he's going to wait for an appropriate time to bring up his or her own points or ask questions about what has been said. The listener also would do, would do it in a non-threatening or attacking manner. So he will do it with respect. Okay? So those who multitask as they listen to someone are not demonstrating good listening habits. They may be talking on the phone, looking at their computer, or etc. In order to be a good listener, you have to demonstrate that you are engaged. You should look at the person who is speaking, even if it means stopping your work or whatever else you may be doing. Okay. Poor listeners will let their emotions get the best of them. They may interrupt, attack, or tune out because of them. Good listeners have a handle on their emotions and will keep them in check in order to listen. When it is time to ask questions, get clarification, or counter effect, they do so in a respectful manner and try to use I statements rather than you ones. Okay. So, you have to assess yourself. Are you a good listener or a poor listener? You are the only one who knows, okay? Let's go here. Okay, we are done. We are going to have another, uh, there was a party for this, the barriers to listening, okay? So, if you, if you think this video is helpful to you, please do 
like and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a good day.